Hello, it is Soaring here with a little, um, I guess, tidbit thing about Trove Meta. Uh, I was getting into a discussion with Saucy Spork in my, in my club about, um, what was more important in, uh, builds, uh, if it was, uh, damage, the damage stat, right, or if it was the critical damage stat. And um, in most games, right, uh, it would be the case, and he was right on this, uh, that you would want to increase your your base damage because your critical damage only multiplies that number. And I built, built a little calculator to explain why that would be the case, and um, why in Trove, it's not necessarily that simple. And so I'm gonna go over here and, oh, wrong, wrong page. Let me, yeah, I'm gonna go over here, and I have a, a stock calculator that's been programmed to, you know, calculate all the things. And I have here my stats for Trove, and as you see here, the average damage for my left, left click with passive is 4.31 million damage. And here you can see um, that number matches this number. Um, so the, the calculator works fine. <laughs> this is just to explain uh, that down here, I was just testing out um, that an increase in magic damage um, increases linear, linearly with how much damage you're going to output total, which it would be expected. Um, this number differs slightly from this one because of a quark with the damage calculation that adds another uh, bit of damage onto it um, as a result of, of player levels. So that's, that's all you need to know about that. Here, the crit damage actually gains a benefit to begin with, and then uh, slides down. And that stays consistent through um, the increase in damage as well. So, and that works for every um, magic damage, no matter what the crit damage multiplier is. Uh, point is, they're both linear. Not one uh, helps more than the other does at any given situation, except... Um, when you're increasing the magic damage, it increases your overall damage, and when you increase your critical damage, it cr increases your overall damage. Um, the magic damage does it more efficiently, um, and the crit damage does it less efficiently. And that's, that's fine. I get that perfectly okay. The problem becomes whenever you have a stat that's really high. So I have uh, 16k power, um, and... If you wanted to, let's say you had 2,000% crit damage, oh no, um, so 200% crit damage, uh, you're doing 1.4 million damage. Let's say you want to be as badass as me, and you want to break that 4 million damage barrier. I've already did the calculations over here. In order to break that 4 million damage ba barrier to be as badass as I am, you would need to increase your total magic damage um, to 296,222 in order to just break that 4 million damage barrier. And that's fine. As opposed to the crit damage, where you would need only 706%. And I say only because... It, we'll, we'll get there. It, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I understand that increasing the magic damage is easier. It's more... Um, uh, you know... you. you you only need to increase the magic damage by um, 269%, but you need to increase the, the critical damage by um, three and a half times what it value, its value was previously. But this amount, this 500% crit damage, um, comes with a caveat. See, this requires 200,000 200, extra magic damage. I'm at 16.5k uh, uh, power, and you know what magic, magic damage is? that, right, 110k. If I wanted to triple that number, right, I would have to equip how many gems that give me 8k power? 
8k magic damage. See, uh, even if they gave me 9k a piece, right? 9k a piece, I would have to equip 20 of those gems, right? <laughs> okay. Whereas in uh, when you're uh, trying to increase your critical damage, you'll have gems like this that give you 114%, or here. Uh, giving me 56%, or here, giving me nothing, because that one doesn't have any crit damage. Here, for 77%, 49%, 91%, 95 right? And even taking the lowest number, you know, 50%, 49%, whatever. Even the lowest number, if I wanted to divide that, right, divide that in, even if it was this like only, even if it only gave me 14%, I would need fewer gems to do that to accomplish that than I would in order to um, accomplish this. And that's a best case scenario. I had damage rolls on every single one of these rolls, every five levels. And it was um, uh, it was uh, critical hit, critical hit, magic damage, magic damage, crit damage, I think something like that. But I think the magic maximum magic damage you can get a period uh, is like is like almost 15k, and even if you want, even if you were lucky enough to do that, you just barely right. And this is this is a very low estimate, right? For the for that power of gem, you're looking at something like 90, which is only six gems. This is the best possible, you know, at 15k increase of power. That's a a three star. Um, a three-star stellar, right, where every roll is on damage, will get you 15k K damage. And here, uh, every this is like half of the rolls being da being um, crit damage. You only need six, so this is easier to achieve by a long shot. So whenever you have my stats, and I wanted to break, say, if I wanted to break five mil. I would need to increase my damage by about 25 percent. It's like uh, what, 38. No, it's not that bad. If I wanted to increase my uh, one, so you guess and check here. So that that barely breaks five mil, right? Um, and then if I wanted to use this instead to break five mil. I would need like 900, like 880, is that close enough? No, 890, yeah, 890 will break that, where you would have um, this, you'd only need to increase it by 16%, this you would need to increase by, um, by 18%, where here you have like, even with 9k damage, and this this is just like their average, you know, both both of them would be fine if I got 9k gems, right? But that's just not gonna be the case. It's it's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, getting 9k gems is like really really good because that's a that's a um, that's a two star that's a two star stellar crit damage, magic damage, critical hit with three stats at level two, um, or uh, three stats at at, at two stars. So I mean, even at the best possible gem, and even comparing to a mediocre crit damage gem, um, the crit gem is, is just easier to achieve. And that's why having crit damage on your gems is more important, but it's almost twice as much as an importance factor, because um, it's twice, twice as easy to achieve on the gems and to increase, um, as opposed to, like here, uh, I had um, some good crit damage rolls, which is very nice. It gave me a, a very good contribution to crit damage. Um, ideally, you'd want to have a magic damage of around uh, 110, 120, right? And then pump your critical damage as high as you can. Um, I mean, if you get extra uh, extra magic damage or, or physical damage or whatever, that's, that's fine. I mean, you, 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 that's great. But it's not as easy to achieve as critical damage. And it isn't going to be as uh, big as a contributor because um, whenever you get a roll for a magic damage, it only gives you an extra 1,000 magic damage. Whereas for critical damage, it'll give you 30% or 40%. So, you know, where you're going to get 
a, a final factor of an extra 7,000 or 21,000 damage, because mine is multiplied by 3 because I'm Fate Trickster. 21,000 damage out of that, uh, I'm going to get an overall bonus of 23%, um, which uh, divided by 7 because it's already 700 would be like a bonus of roughly 4% of my overall damage. 4% of my overall damage is uh, uh, 160k. So that's a lot easier to that's a lot easier to achieve. <laughs> um, so if you if you have to um, accept the magic damage by, by far, as long as you have a 100% crit rate. This, this is all for 100% crit rate people. If you have maximum critical rate. If you get a roll that rolls um, magic damage, it actually decreases. Um, it's not as good as if you would have had a roll for for critical damage, because critical damage would increase your overall damage um, more quickly. Because having a higher critical damage is easier to achieve than having a higher overall damage stat. So that's the that's the basis of that. That's why you want critical damage. Um, Sorry if that was fast. I talk fast when I'm explaining things that are important. But yeah, um, if you want access to this calculator, I can post it for you. Just <laughs> let me know in the comments below. I'll um, I can just link you over to that. Um, there is a free use guide um, that has this calculator in it. Um, this isn't uh, not all the math. The math has already been figured out. So I just googled the math and I. And I rewrote this calculator, but somebody has a calculator for all the classes. It's not perfect. I had to tweak it to the correct math for the most current updates, but um, it is available. It only differs by like 0.01% or something like that. I just wanted it to match my value. Um, so I got that. It works. So have any questions? Again, comments below. I can, I can explain anything related to Trove Meta, uh, I'm sure. Uh, thank you. And, um, do you like my eyes? They're all glowy. <laughs>